Once upon a time, there were two best friends. One of them had a computer, and the other one sucked. Hello, Hello everybody. It's uh, it's finally, it's finally time to live my dream of uh, being literally balls deep in a mech. We're actually villains incorporated. Yeah, but when you say we, it sounds like I'm associated with that dream. Yeah, you're oh. stuck with it, regardless of whether you want to be. Cause, well, We're playing Mech Romancer. I have no idea what this game is about, other than what it probably is yeah. obviously about. All, all, all I know about this game is, like, from what I've been told about this game, you're trying to date a robot so it doesn't destroy the fucking world. That's what I was told about it. I don't know how much of that is true. Oh, uh, excuse me, I just had a slice of pie. Uh, Why did you do that? Why did you have a slice of pie and then record immediately? <laughs> I wanted pie. Well, then why didn't you have pie, like, after? To want pie now. Why didn't you have pie hours before? Because I for, like, I keep, I told you earlier, it's like, I keep forgetting we have pie, and then I'll look at it, I was like, oh, I'll have some later. We should and probably then I'll just get go, to the fun yeah, game. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're going to start a new game. You see a figure. A beautiful figure. The clothes flow, mm -hmm. is there. Nope. What are you trying to? I was just trying to see if there was actually a full screen option or not. Oh no, we're we're yeah. we're stuck with this. This is jank, by the yeah. way. I don't know if you. I don't know how much you can tell, but this is jank. Like we couldn't get this to record it. You know what? People don't need yeah. to know this. Let's let's record the game. <laughs> you see a figure, a beautiful figure. Their clothes flow in the wind, just as the ripe amber gla grass blows. <laughs> no matter how close you get, they grow further away. You call out to them. They don't turn around. Dan, 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 dan. <laughs> your alarm blare is jutting you awake from your dream. You can't remember it, but it probably wasn't that good. No, it was... Okay. Oh, oh, this is annoying. Please stop. Please stop. Please. Please. Thank God. Lieutenant, get up. You've been assigned. What? There's a lot of lore I feel like I'm <laughs> yeah, missing Yeah, I feel here. like I've missed a lot. <laughs> oh, no. We didn't bother putting on underwear. You hit the button next to the door to command it to open, to the chagrin of the page on the other side of the door. Um, I'm sorry, Lieutenant, the Admiral has a new assignment for you. Uh, here. You take the sheet of paper that he holds. Too important for the intra-base message system? What does she think she is? Who does she think she is? You crumple it into a ball and toss it over your shoulder, assuming that it lands somewhere relatively near your desk. You stare at the page. Is that all? Uh, yes, Lieutenant. Uh, uh. Are you going to leave? Or are you going to leave? Or are you going to come in and do whatever it is you're thinking of? Page's face grows bright red. He turns all the way around. Lieutenant, please, this is unbecoming of an officer. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have underwear on. Whatever. A look grows across your face. You're sick of people pretending to care about that kind of crap. Or what? You're going to get me discharged? Fuck off. We're kind of an asshole. Yeah. With another button pressed, the door slides closed again. That was right. Okay. <laughs> You can swear you almost saw the page look at your nude body again, but you'd honestly prefer that he didn't. It's too early for this crap. Well, then put on some fucking yeah, underwear. Yeah, why did we put on like underwear? I feel like a... we're an idiot. I feel like... There I... was one solution to this problem. <laughs> it's not like it wasn't obvious either. It was right there in front of him. Yeah. we're. I feel like we're the kind of lieutenant to just take fucking uh, shortcuts. Was it really a reason you couldn't just pick one at random? You just like the sound of all of them opening at once. It's a nice bit of cacophony. The other ways, otherwise, dead silent barracks. <sighs> uh, there's so many issues with me right now. They're all filled with clean, <laughs> pressed uniforms. Either never been worn or perfectly clean for whatever dead body they were picked off of. Hmm. I feel like there's only one way to go with this. I mean, you do you, bro. Uh, <laughs> it really doesn't matter. <laughs> The hallways seem endless as you trudge toward the he headquarters. I'm about to say helicopters. It's probably a dozen <laughs> kilometers away at the very least. The phrase trudge towards the helicopters. Come. It just... it Does it resonate with you spiritually? Yeah, for some reason it does. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, but it does. I don't know. Is, do you sexually identify as an attack helicopter? No, it's just... The idea of trudging towards something so awesome, right? <laughs> <laughs> Presumably explosions in the background. Yeah, like like it's a chore to go hang out with fucking helicopters. Like that would be awesome. Well, I'm sure like when you're around helicopters that often, they kind of lose that like allure of like, oh, helicopters are cool. I mean, maybe, but like I feel like there's someone out there that doesn't react that way. Like helicopters are just awesome their whole life. 
regardless of their interaction level with them. So it looks like we're in an apocalypse scenario. Okay. So you're actually reading the lore? Because I'm thinking about helicopters. I'm thinking about helicopters and reading the lore. I'm a multifaceted human being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like there was some big old bloodbath and that like all the cities on top got totally destroyed and were on the underground bases and stuff. Okay. You know, let me just... <laughs> let me double check that now. <laughs> yeah, every major city got glass, but the underground military... Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, we're sorry during the first bloodbaths. Yeah, there was, there there was the some shit, some shit happened. Biggs one has a map of the earth. Half the monitors aren't on, however, and more of them have a few large. Uh, fuck. <laughs> should You're I really the one the who one? clicked. Yeah, <laughs> should, should I really be the one reading this? Like, I'm pretty sure I'm dyslexic. I mean, do you want me to read it? There aren't nearly enough. <laughs> It would probably be better for you to read what it. What do you want from me? No, it would probably be better for you to read it, but I feel like I should read it since I'm behind the mouse. Well, I can get behind the mouse if you want, and you can just make the choices. No, I have to fuck the mechs so you don't have to. Well, that's what I mean. You you, you make the choices, I just click on them for you. Yeah, but because you have to click it, it means by proxy you're fucking the mechs for me, and I know you don't want that. I will take this burden. I don't feel that way, but if that's how you want me to feel, this is the lore that I'm cra I'm crafting. The lore that I want to fuck a mech. I don't, but for the sake of this video, I want to fuck a mech. Flawless white military <laughs> uniform. <laughs> Ooh, she cute, Lieutenant. Ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> Do you know why I've called you here? Yeah, the page said you had a new assignment for me. What's the matter? The machines aren't cleaning the floors well enough for you? Damn, we're sashy. This, oh, wow. I lisped and added an H. <laughs> you added an H which brought out your lisp. Yeah. You usually aren't this snarky. Usually it's only 11 a.m. and you haven't had your coffee. An appropriate assignment, to be sure, but we've got a new toy for you and you're the only one who can handle it. You just kind of stare at her for a while. A new toy? What the hell does, she, does that mean? Bring up the hangar, please. She, she brings out like a little toy boat. <laughs> this is a tiny toy boat. Here you go. <laughs> Finally, it's play that with you... it for my amusement. <laughs> <laughs> Camera two, please. Camera switch is now pointing at a brand new mecha, similar to the mecha that was piloted during the initial phase of phases of the war. Except that it has a weapon that you've never seen before. It also has large bulky bugs on the back. I wonder if camera one ever feels inferior to camera two. Right? Because, like, camera one would never get called out. Camera one's just default. <laughs> <laughs> the default camera. Was... Yeah, you know, it's like, when are, when are they going to be like, camera one, please? Yeah, this is what it looks like. Shit brick house, dude. That's, that's literally a hammer and a nail. Yeah, wait, how is this an effective tool of war? We're built like a brick shit house like is humanity's greatest like enemy two by fours or something i i couldn't tell you what was the bloodbath about you were the one who was paying attention to the lore yeah but i don't know why he's got a literal hammer and nail <laughs> like that's a weapon that's literally only effective once well it's apparently it's bladed it's apparently like a flat blade Oh, nuclear fusion. Did they mean fission? Well, no, fusion. Fusion, fusion yeah. Fusion is a power. It's not as efficient as fission. Yeah. Fission is actually... Efficient. I'm going to stop doing a lot It's a reactive <laughs> armor that strengthens based on certain <laughs> impulses. <laughs> the display flicks back to Earth. Yeah, see? Camera one! But she didn't call it out! I, it just happened! She didn't say it? That's bullshit. Justice for camera two. <laughs> <laughs> camera two lives matter. Censor that out, me. That's, I don't know if that's in poor taste or it's funny, but I just, I'm not putting it out in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that joke is too dangerous for us it mere is. mortals. It's, a, it's fucking for us normies. That's like a landmine. <laughs> The head mechanic will explain it to you. Take In this what situation is a landmine a good thing? I don't know if you're not the one stepping on it and you're like people, your opposition is. 
usually landmines pretty good in that situation. I don't know. I think landmines should actually be banned. I think they're horrible things. They are. You know what else is horrible? I'm also kind of like the mindset that if you want to kill somebody, you should probably get up and personal and like do it yourself. No, I think you should be a coward and snipe them from several miles away. Like even snipers, it takes a great amount of skill oh, yeah. to pull that oh, kind yeah. of thing off. So like, I'm I'm not ragging on snipers. I'm just saying like landmines. It's it's like it's the coward's way out. You know, not even the yeah. coward's way out because coward's way out would be like you know like. That, that implies that you're taking yourself out with the landmine. <laughs> so I guess it's the coward's way in. Yeah. You know? Um, anyway, thanks for showing up to our stupid channel. <laughs> yeah, we we only got to see a glimpse of the robot I'll be trying to fuck. Maybe. <laughs> Why is that the premise? I don't know. I don't actually know what the premise of this is. So I'm inventing my own premise. <laughs> what has humanity come to? <laughs> Well, I know what we're going to come to. Oh. The end of this episode. The mic's right there. I quit. <laughs> no, but the mic, though. <laughs> we'll figure out where we're going in the next episode. Why does the mic get attention, but camera one is just still left in the dark? You need camera two? No, camera one. Camera two gets called out. It gets attention drawn to it. Camera one is just the default camera. Oh, I thought, see, I was <laughs> I was under the impression that you were saying camera one, because it's the default one and doesn't have to be called out, is the superior camera. No, it's inferior because oh. it doesn't, doesn't get the attention garnered to it. It's like nobody even knows camera one exists because it's just, the, it's just there. It's just the thing. Camera two is one everybody knows about because, like, you walk into the fucking briefing room, right? You look at the fucking screen, and right on the screen, you're just like, oh, there's a screen. I wonder what's on camera two. Like, nobody ever pays attention to camera one. You don't, There's no mystery. Camera one never has a mystery. They never have any intrigue. There's nothing about them that would make a person interested in them over camera two. They're always going to be in competition with camera two, and they're never going to win. Never. God. So I redact my previous statement. <laughs> uh, me, leave that joke uncensored because technically it was inaccurate. <laughs> That's what you care about? Why did you care about camera?